hello my pouring friends and welcome and thank you for stopping by my channel in this video i'm going to be sharing with you my process for a simplistic minimalistic bloom blowout on a 60 by 90 centimeter canvas i chose the colors um, in uh, for my backgrounds in metallics uh, greens and a pistachio as well as a beach sand with a pewter and a white cell activator. The bloom blowouts on top of that background are violets and purples and I added a tiny bit of um, Deco Arts Turquoise Extreme Sheen um, metallic paint. So follow my process if you want to see how I created this beautiful painting. So my canvas sits so nice and snug on this large uh, spinner. It's a 24 by 36 inch canvas. It's an Adala local brand uh, canvas. And I'm using a um, acrylic wall paint. What was left in the can was just enough to cover this canvas. There's about one and a half liters. I've thinned it down with some water as I usually do because this paint is quite gloopy. So you've got to add some water to the wall sheen. Just to make it more fluid so that it's easy to flow across the canvas. So I'm going to flood the canvas now with that um, house paint. Um, or laying down my pillow. Um, it's white uh, acrylic. And, and then I'm going to stretch it across this canvas. So I'm working in a baby pool. It's a one and a half meter uh, diameter baby pool. I had to set it up in my uh, kitchen. It's on the kitchen floor. And the spinner is a 1.25. Each one of those arms is 1.25 meters across. So um, after I've stretched out the pillow, I am torching the air bubbles now. There's quite a lot of air bubbles and it took me quite a while to get, uh, you know, most of them popped because this is the only time I use the torch. When I do my bloom blowouts, I don't torch the canvas again. I only do it once I've laid down my pillow. So I've speeded that part up because I didn't want you to sit through five minutes of me having to torch air bubbles. So I'm going to be laying down 10 puddles here. I've got uh, starting with the, um, it's an iridescent uh, green. Um, a beautiful, beautiful sheen it leaves on the canvas once it's dry. And, um, and then that will be followed by a pistachio. Or a beach. <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. I think that's beach sand. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's beach. Um, looks the color of beach sand. So um, different brands that we get here in South Africa call this color by different names. Some brands will call it sand, others call it beach. But when I check the colors, it's identical. It's the same shade. So this is the pistachio. Beautiful color. Um, works so beautiful in this palette with the iridescent green. And then I'm also adding a pearl white. Uh, most of my colors are access, accessible locally, so they come from different brands. Um, I don't usually just stick to one brand of paint. Uh, my uh, cell activator is the Amsterdam Pewter, P-E-W-T-E-R, and I'm topping that up with uh, Amsterdam White cell activator, and my cell activator's are a mix of the Amsterdam paint with Australian Floetrol. So we're currently having a shortage in South Africa in accessing Australian Floetrol. But I, uh, I still had some stock, so I'm fortunate that I did not waste my, my, uh, my Amsterdam. Oh, sorry, that I did not waste my Australian Floetrol. My blow dryer is um, 1800 watt and it's a very light blow dryer perfect for blowing out blooms and also dutch pores it uh, has got just the right amount of air pressure i feel for this technique as well as for dutch pores 
so when I blow out the bloom puddles for my background so this is just going to be randomly bl blown out it's uh, there's no um, right or wrong here all I want is a background so I first blow out all of my puddles I start on a low airflow and I switch to a high airflow just to spread it out a bit across the pillow um, I do that for every one of those puddles so and and once you're done with them and you move on to the next puddle you find that the cells are developing so beautifully on the ones that you've completed so you give that cells actually time to develop now i'm going back to the very first one i start there again and i start to stretch them out so i don't blow into the center once again i'm stretching only the cells that have formed around the edges of those puddles and I stretch that out with a with a blow dryer so um, just just random you know um, very abstract at this point I'm not looking for any flower designs or or things like that I just want that paint to be stretched over my pillow at this at the stage um, and um, I blow it from the right to the left most of the time I feel that I have more control in directing the paint or the flow of the paint when I do that um, and once I've blown out all of these puddles then I will give it a nice uh, couple of uh, very very strong or very hard uh, spins couple of revolutions in both directions helps to stretch that paint over the edges of the canvas I want that pillow together with those uh, bloom that are, blooms that I've blown out I want them to wrap themselves around the canvas to flow over the edge to stretch out um, if, and if need be you can add some paint to the edges because sometimes it gets you know stuck and it doesn't want to move um, freely just add some pillow and spin it again and that uh, paint that you've added will almost pull the rest of that paint over the edges for you so um, I'm happy with the with the background I love that there's a negative space still visible uh, and now I'm laying down some puddles for the bloom blowouts and I'm doing this in colors in the purple, violet, jacaranda, you know, that kind of color palette. Um, so I've started with the dioxazine deep violet, then I've moved to the jacaranda, then I've added a turquoise, the uh, Deco Art Extreme Sheen turquoise, and I've topped that off with a metallic violet with this time i'm using a black and a white cell activator because i want to see a little bit of contrast and the contrast for me is the black cell activator um, again i'm giving you a close-up shot um, and just to show you how i'm blowing out the petals of this bloom and this time this is not um the same way that I would blow out the background here I want a definite bloom shape so I'm blowing very carefully and at most I'm trying to get at least a six petal bloom out of this blowout so um, I've added three more puddles this is a minimalistic very simplistic a bloom blowout on a 60 by 90 centimeter canvas and um, I don't want a lot of blooms especially not in purples and violets because it's a very strong color and I don't want it to take over this painting I want it just to be a, a very soft subtle uh, focal point um, on this canvas and I hope that I'm going to achieve that with this minimalistic number of blooms um, I'm blowing those out and then I'm going to define 
define it with the um, with a skewer stick and then gentle gentle very gentle uh, spins with a spinner just to spread out the blooms and once I'm happy with that I'm going to um, give you a closer look So if this is the first time for you joining my channel, for stopping by, I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for being here. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I have done quite a few bloom blowouts. This is the way I do it. It's my technique. I first do backgrounds and then I blow out the blooms on top of, top of it. I've got quite a few videos if you'd like to reach out and go back to my channel you will find them I'll also put a link up for you now to make it easier to find it so please consider subscribing to my channel and join my pouring family if you are back and you are already part of my family thank you so much for always coming back and for your support I appreciate you I appreciate your viewership, I appreciate the time you take to watch my videos and I really hope that I am inspiring you to try this technique for yourself. So take care everyone, thank you so much for stopping by, I'll see you on the next video, bye for now.